Hi guys. It's Welcome back. Monday. We're just gonna check some stuff out here in Bisbee and we got the mine tour at three. Uh, so we got a little time to go look at some shops and stuff. Show you some art. Let's go. Come along with us. All right. And it's not raining today, so yay. Nice and sunny. Welcome to Love Adventures and Art, where we like to have fun, have adventures, and be creative. Let's be better humans. There's a husky up there. Looks like my Max. Rest in peace, Maxie Roo. Okay. Oh, that sailboat one's cool. Oh, yeah. I like uh, the Chinese sailboats. Be cool to put one of my paintings here. Oh, vampire. Mm -hmm. Love you. I'll see you later. Nice. That one's pretty good. Dia de los Muertos. Oh yeah, Dia de los Muertos. It looks like cool. somebody added the help onto that. This is cool, the 3D art. Yeah. Very cool. These steps here are so interesting too. They're like not normal steps. Mona Lisa with her titties hanging out. <laughs> Apparently she's stabbing herself. She is? Knife or sword. Oh yeah. Stabbing herself. I've not noticed that. Cool. See how these little mining towns turn into little hippie artsy towns. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see what Ajo is like now because I was told Ajo is like this too now. I think this is probably the end of it. I wonder what that is up there though. Is oh, it the no, school? It's up to the base of the building there. So yeah. You know, we can keep on doing it. So. Okay. Uh. Keep going up. And find out what the building is. So many stairs. Lots of stairs here. And this be. But it's so cool. Oh, look at this house. This house is cute too. So now we're across from where our cottage is. And our cottage is right there. The little, the yellow one above the Bisbee Inn. Yeah, see, I was like, we need to get out and go walk around and look at stuff. That's a cool church. I don't think there's any shortage of hotels, places to stay here. And it's awesome. You're going to want to stay a day or two like we are. There's another hotel. It's pretty. Oh, it's got Mr. Grinch. Very cool. Oh, here's a park. Park and a pup. Mm -hmm. That worked out exactly as I planned it to. We bet we go up and around and over this way. Live tattoos through December. Lavender Jeep tours. Cup Queen and the Emporium. 
Oh, look at that cool glass elevator. And this is where we went in yesterday and had a beer and some cheese fries. And there's a really cool store in here that I want to get Isabel a necklace or something for Christmas. So, the Emporium. Okay, that shop isn't open, so maybe there's, she's on lunch right now. Um, there is a mining museum right here. We'll see if it costs any money and decide whether we want to go in or not. Still got time before we got to go to our tour. Right there, which is uh, right, right across the street. probably look cool at night time because I see the Christmas lights. Yeah. Wow, this is really cool. Is it one of the uh, old elevator in the mine shafts? And the guys would go down in this. Do you imagine being cramped with like 10 smelly men? Oh, this would probably be more like 15 men in this actually. Probably. Can you believe that? The no. size of this thing, it's, I don't know, 40 feet by, or 40 inches by. <laughs> 40 feet? I'm like, what? Yeah, no, <laughs> it's about four feet wide, maybe four, a little bit less than four feet wide. Can you imagine bringing that many people in? Smelly, dirty miners. No. And That's then uh, having to take a 45 minute ride up or down a shaft. Yeah, that was in the sick. dark. Imagine if somebody had too many beans that morning. And 10 to 4. 10 to 4. Okay. Ooh, it looks like it is. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. Cool display of this. Uh, Light the way that it used to work on the early automobiles. It's pretty Magneto. Cool. There's a cool overhead geographical yeah. picture of Bisbee in the lavender pit. It's massive. Mm-hmm. Gold. Gold. Okay, that, is that silver? Yep. Native silver, yeah. Okay. This is maybe copper? Okay. Yep. Um, pyrite? Yep. Nailed it. Malachite. And, why can't I remember the name of this one? Galena. Galena. Oh, okay. This is because I don't know that one. Got this guy over here, singing Jack in the way. Yep. Doing it by candlelight. Oh yeah. So, yeah, yeah. This right here, it's an original candle spike. They would, you know, the, the wood beams, mm -hmm. they would take that and they would stick that in and then they'd have their candles and they knew their shift was over when they ran out of candles. Mm. So they had to go out in the dark? Uh, you'd had just enough to be able to get out. Oh, okay. Unless you were that guy that got stuck. Yeah. Down that there. guy over there, he was uh, hand drilling with a single jack. They call it a single jack. This guy over here, he's got a little bit more. Ooh, there it is. We owe it to ourselves. 
Oh, that's cool. He's over here with Gold. a newer, more modern Golden copper. Yeah. This is cool. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about that I said. But this is even older. You don't even have numbers to turn. You just cranked it, mm -hmm. and it rang the operator. And then they would ask you where you wanted to. And then they would just connect you to Mm. A locker where your miners can put their stuff before after shifts. That's really cool. And then, yeah, this would be like chipping in, chipping out, and brassing in, brassing out. Who, anybody that went into the mine, you had to put your little coin with your name on the board. Mm -hmm. And there would be a board in and out. So if you were going underground, You'd have to take your name, put it off, and then when you came out, you take it off and put it in the out. That way, they always knew who was down oh, underground. Okay. And if something happened, as men came out, you would know who made it out and if anybody was still stuck down there. Oh, that's that was a good very, idea. very important thing to try and keep miners safe back in the early days. That way you could keep track. Otherwise, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Did John Smith make it out? Ooh. Gorgeous. She says there's a lot of really good gem gold. Ooh. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Look at that malachite. Yeah, I was gonna say that looks like a bunch of malachite ore right there. Would you do the azurite on malachite? Some copper copper azurite. ore. Beautiful. I want some azurite. Calcite on malachite. Calcite, calcite, calcite on malachite. These formations are just unreal. Beautiful. Copper. That whole thing is copper. Mm. Calcite. 1400 level of the Dallas mine. Wow. Bisbees. Yeah, Crystal Bispies. caves. Holy. What? Wow. Look at this thing. Oh yeah, that's a cool recreation of like a little natural. Wow, it's sweet. Busy crystal caves, miners make their way through rock, they occasionally burn in cave-like openings, lines with colorful glittering crystals, being derived from copper minerals. Conservation caves lay hidden in the water, which tells girls around Bisbee. Some cavities the size of the fields. Huh? What's this? Oh, that's another telephone? Whoa, I've never seen one like that before. So they said that they would be, um, the miners would be mining in the hills of Bisbee and they would break into cave formations like this with all these deposits in there. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even see these slabs. Oh, wow. I want that. That's fluorite right there. I believe. I think they're cross section cuts of like what these formations are right here. Or they would slice it. It's very cool. Look. You can actually touch them. Oh, it's heavy. Oh my gosh. Really? Oh, yeah. Lift that up. It's heavy. Oh, yeah. That is a solid. There are a lot of sulfides in that. It's like lots of heavy metals. I don't know if Irons, you guys can see all this, how shiny it is, but. Make sure you put it in. That, that, is, that is much heavier than you would think it would be. Yeah, a lot heavier. All right, what else do we have here? Ooh, pretty, pretty. Or shoot, there would be a like a tongue carved into the rock and it would go up to whatever ore body that they were working whether it would be an open stove a, uh, a stove a wind and they would dump the ore that they were mining down the ore chutes and they would come to these these uh, ore ore bins and ore traps and it would all build up behind here and then the carts would come by 
they line up the card underneath it, and then they open this up, and they'll, they can control the flow of the ore down to the ore car, and to push it out and, and get it up out of the mine to be processed at the smelters. Heavy. Yes, they were all very heavy. There's a lot of heavy iron sulfides in it. That's why. Pretty. This is so cool. Out. Yeah, you can I see all the we're allowed to touch these rocks, but I mean they're out, so I, I, I don't see I why not. Oh God, look at that turquoise. So. Look at that malachite. It's so beautiful. It's very vibrant. <laughs> That's pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit more over here. It's like a rainbow. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so there's two pits the Sacramento pit from 1917 to 1929, and the Lavender pit from 54 to 1974. That's cool. Turquoise. The Sacramento pit. Hmm. <laughs> okay. back in the early early to mid 60s when that the lavender pit mine was really going in full swing and they were just heavy hit in that area and was mining it out. So a new find busy turquoise relatively new to the jewelry scene it was first found during work on the lavender pit in 1951 but for the next 20 years many thousands of pieces of fine bisbee turquoise were recovered. Hmm. That makes me want to go in the desert and look for stuff. <laughs> That's how they did it. It was the big machinery that dug that giant pit out. Oh. I wonder how they did that. Yeah, it would have been something to see, that's for sure. Yeah. It's like this is the scene where they're set up and they're more like they're modern. Drilling down, drilling for samples, trying to find a rich body of ore. Oh, look, yeah, here. And then here's a, here's a, uh, here's a core sample from drilling. Oh. Where they would drill down in and you could see what was in the rock. Oh, wow. And then apparently this right here would probably be what they were, yeah, look, so uh, high grade copper ore. Just by looking at it, this looks like this. It's what they were looking for right here. What's that other one? This other one, cross section of typical Bisbee ore body, small amounts of copper. This is the type of ore that the open pit operations go after. So this is what they would be looking for for like the lavender pit. This is and what they were mining. What's that one? This one, it says, Sequence of rock layers beneath Bisbee pieced together from various core samples. So this is just a collection of a bunch of different types of rock in the area. Like your normal rock. Okay. Um, it sounds like it doesn't really have a lot of like, um, value to it as far as mine. A mountain of paperwork. That is a lot of paperwork, man. Oh yeah. It's all a little stodge. Okay, so 
That actually makes you feel like you're in the machine doing the work. Oh, yeah. That's cool. A lot bigger equipment than anything they would have had on any of the Gold Rush teams. Yeah, that's definitely true. Except maybe some of the dredges they had. Wow. That's, that, a, that's massive, a machine, it's, man. It's a massive, well, to give you an idea, here's the tire for the dump truck that that thing would have fed. Wow. Up. So that's, that's, not even, that's not even the machine here we see war working. That's the that's the dump truck this thing loaded it, loaded that for it. Please play with the trucks. <laughs> Tonka. Wow, these are old Tonka trucks. Yeah. Metal kind of like when we were kids. And. Definitely more modern. Yeah, this would be like the size of the scoop on that, on that machine we were just watching. So this block that's... represents how much ore would have, or been, would have been dug to provide 25 pounds of copper. To each American, on average, purchases every year. M multiply that by the population of the United States and then visualize the increase year by year. You can see why open pit mines are so vast. Wow. 147 pounds of copper. Motorcycle, 28. An average car has 50 pounds of copper. Average farm vehicle, 63. Electric fork, lift trucks, 138. Boeing jet, 9,000. Diesel electric locomotive, 11,000. Triton class nuclear submarine, 200,000. 200,000 pounds of copper. Of Mammoth copper. Electric Mammoth shoveling. For mining, 800 pounds. Wow. Other things that. Have copper, so, nickel, quarters, I bet the, the television, radio, computer, shovel, I bet blenders. That's this, what this machine is. The telephone, cellular phone, video game console, MP3 player. Those yeah. all have copper. Everything, everything electronic has copper in it. You know? Chocolate has copper. Boiled spinach. Wow. Just naturally that's on its crazy. own, apparently. Yeah. So all that has copper in it. Yeah. And here we are back where we came in. So back down the stairs we go. Alrighty. But it's been bought out by Freeport. So now we're owned by Freeport. Okay. Okay. And there's a ranching exhibit in this room. And then farther on, there's a research library. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Another founder, Arthur Curtis James. I think that's a grandfather clock. Very nice one. Cool. Do penny. Thank you so much for watching, loves. I hope you like this video. If you do, let us know by subscribing to our channel. This is the end of this video. Up next will be the mine tour. And um, this will be at nighttime. So much for watching. Bye. Thank you.